Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful seed beads romantic earrings with heart shaped petals. I know it's a little bit early for the Saint Valentine's tutorials but I want you to prepare early. If you like what I'm showing you here consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video and in this way you help me so much. Without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 ohm seed beads, black, light pink, dark pink and red and I also use earring findings, golden color and liver bags but you could use any type you like. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, Facebook and Instagram pages to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will also see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, let's continue. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I have difficulties going through some beads and I sometimes I squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle. Okay and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to do first is pick up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay I have my 12 here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made. And I'm making one more knot. Okay. Then what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction. just like this and I'm going to start my next row by picking up three beads of the first color which is light pink or coral pink okay so I'm exiting through one of the black beads then I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following you see this is what I have going out of these beads skipping the next one and going through the following Okay, sometimes you tell me that you can see the beginning of my work because I hide it with my fingers. Now I'll try not to do this, okay? So now I take dark pink and I do the same thing, exiting here, skipping the next one and go through the following. Okay, I have this. Then in my next step I'm taking three red beads skip the one that's on my way and go through the following and now i'm going to show you the next three steps that are absolutely the same like these ones Okay, now I have this. In my next step, I'm going through these two pinks, pinks exiting out of the bead that is sticking out the most, or the middle one of these three pink beads that I added in my previous row. You see where I'm exiting. And I'm taking the color I'm exiting out of, a black bead, and the color I'm going into. So light pink, black, and dark pink. And I'm going here in the one that's sticking out the most. Then I'm doing the same thing. Uh, color I'm exiting out of. Black. And color I'm going into. And I go here. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. 
I'll show it a little bit faster, but if you want, you could slow it down from the options or you could rewind and see how I'm doing it in the first part. Okay, now I'm ready with this row, guys, and I want to go here through these three beads. And my goal is to exit out of the dark pink bead, the first one. Then I'm going to pick up five dark pink beads. Okay, I have here my five on my needle. And I skip the middle pink and I go through the following pink, just like this and I pull. Now I have this. Then in my next step I'm going through the black and through the following red and I'm going to take five this time red beads. Okay and again I skip the middle one and go through the next three in one movement. Black and the next color which is light pink. Then I take light pink, five of them, okay, exiting here, skipping the one in the center and going through the following three, light pink, black and dark pink. Okay, I will repeat these steps until the end. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video up to here and repeat them. Okay, see you in a while. And I'm um, here, guys, where I'm adding my last five beads from this row and I pull. And now my thread is exiting here after the first pink bead. And what I want to do in this step is go through four more beads in this direction. OK, like this. And I'm pulling. Then I will make a similar thing that I did in the previous row. So I'm taking a bead in the color that I'm exiting out of, then I take a black bead, then I take a red bead. And now I will go here one bead before this top bead that's sticking out the most. And I go like this. Then I will go through the next two beads. So in this way I'm going through the top three beads of the five that I added in my previous row. So I'm going through these beads. And then again, I need a red, which is the color I'm exiting out of a black and a light pink, which is the color I'm going into. And here I will go in the top three beads like this. Then I will repeat the same thing. Color I'm exiting out of a black bead and color I'm going into. And I'm going in the top three beads. If you can do this in one movement, if not, first go through one and then through the next two, like I showed you in my previous step. Okay, repeat the same thing. Color you exit from, black color you go into and top three beads. Okay, repeat it and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm adding here my last three beads from this row. And in my next step, I wanna go through all of the pink beads, through the black and through the first red bead. And here at this step, I'm taking two red beads, the color I'm exiting out of, one black bead, and then two pink beads, two dark pink beads the color I will be going into backwards, okay? So I'm going like this backwards through those beads. Okay. Then in my next step, I'm going through these two black beads 
uh, sorry, red beads next to the black. And again, I will repeat the same thing. I'm taking two red beads, one black and two dark pink beads. Like this. Through all of those beads. Let me pull a little bit to be tighter. Okay. Then I will go through all of the red beads. Then through the black and through the following color, which is light pink bead. And I will repeat what I did here. I'm taking two light pink beads, one black and two red beads. And what I want to do is go back like this, backwards through these three beads, red, black and pink. Okay, and I pull, I have this and I will make another row. Go through these light pink beads and take the same sequence. I have this, go backwards, pull tight if you need to. and go in this direction through the first bead of the next color. Then I will repeat these steps, two dark pinks, one black and two light pinks and I will repeat it twice like I did here. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and see and repeat, repeat, repeat. And don't forget to take the first the color you're exiting out of then black, then the color you're going into. Okay, finish it and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. Okay. Then what I wanna do in my next step is go through all of those beads in this direction. Here, go out of this black bead and now go down through these three beads. And now you could take three and go in the central bead, just like this. Then again, take three and go here in the third one counting from the top okay or the bit that is next to this black bit and go like this then again through the top and through the following three Then take three beads and go here through this one that's sticking out the most. Then again take three and go in the third one counting from the top. Fix it a little bit. Okay. Then exit at the same place, three beads in this direction, three, go in the center, take three more and go here in the same place. Okay guys. And I will continue this until the end and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next.
Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now what I want to do is my last row. Believe it or not, in the next step, everything will look much, much, much better. Okay, go through the black and through the red bead. Okay, I'm exiting out of the first thread here. And I'm going to pick up three red beads. And I'm going here in the middle one of these three beads that I added in my previous row. Or the one that's sticking out the most. Then I'm going to take one black bead. Again, I'm going in the one that's sticking out the most. And I'm feeling something like a gap here. Then again, in my next step, I take three and I go here in the first red bead. Okay, here is my first heart, which is ready. Then I go through the black and through the following light pink bead. Then I take three and I go here in the bead that's sticking out the most. And then I take just one black and go in the middle of the three pinks that I added previously. And then I take three and go again here through this pink one. Okay, and I'm finishing my next heart. Okay, I have this. I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, like this, then take three, go here, one black, go here, and three pinks. And here. Okay, I will finish this, guys, and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am, where I'm adding my last three beads for my last heart. Now I have this, and in my next step, I want to go through this black bead here, at the border between the dark pink and the red, and I will take my earring findings one of my earring findings and I'm taking two beads then I'm taking my earring finding and then I want to take more two more seed beads okay this is what I have on my needle now I'm going to slide all of those down and what I do is that I go backwards through this bead here and I pull now I'm going to reinforce this. Okay, and when I reinforce it several times, I want to find a place to make a knot. Okay. And I think here the angle is a nice place to make a knot. Okay, and what, how I'm making it, I make here a loop and I go once and then I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through the following seed bead. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several times. When you're ready, you go through the following scene bead and then cut your thread. Okay, and now my romantic earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my romantic earrings with heart-shaped petals are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video because in this way you help me so much. You could also check description for full list of materials 
Facebook and Instagram pages to share pictures of your works that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye from me.